Hello, hello, and welcome to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. I am also one of the trainers with Notary Educators, which includes myself, Kimmy Nunnally, Angela Johnson, and Alexis Franklin. We each own our own very successful notary businesses and teach notaries in all 50 states to be great and grow their own business. We will discuss general notary work, apostilles, ink fingerprinting, and the duties of a notary signing agent, and much, much more. For all of your notary needs, please visit notaryeducatorsllc.com. We hope you enjoy the show, and we wish you much success. Hello, hello, and welcome to Notary Life with Kimmy. I am Kimmy. (laughs) For those of you who do not know, I am a notary trainer. I am actually a notary in the state of Georgia, but I train all 50 states, including D.C. And I enjoy sharing my knowledge with everyone. I hope you all are having a great day. Thank you for joining me. Those who are here, those who will join us on the replay, and Facebook. I'm going to try to see if I can add IG in the very near future. I don't know if I can handle all of that, guys. Technic, uh, I'm not that technologically savvy, so we'll see what happens. Hey, Shanique, how are you? Are you new with us? So welcome, welcome. Signed by Keisha. Hey, very cute name there. I love that. Um, let me see, can I pull up Facebook right quick? And we're going to get started. We'll let YouTube notify a few people. And I won't hold you any longer than we have to. Let's see. Can we pull up Facebook right quick? Angela is supposed to join me. Hopefully she will. Don't know about Alexis this evening. Our other two trainers, Angela does the apostille and Alexis does our Google My Business. Hey, Linda. So, yeah, I was able to see Facebook because sometimes I cannot. Hi, Marjorie. Hey, Yolanda. What's going on? Hi, Julie. Hey, Angela. Welcome, welcome. And I think we said hi to Shanique, but I just want to make sure. Hey, Shanique. And Daryl's here from Hawaii. Hello, hello. So let's get right into it, guys. So tonight's topic is notary safety. And this is so important because a lot of times we are out as women by ourselves. If you don't know, being a notary is predominantly women are running it who run the world right girls <laughs> so girls are running the thing when it comes to the notary business there are a few men out there but mostly it's single women or they can be married of course but um my point is that women are the main people that are doing the notary um the notary business so we want to be safe while we're out there right hey tim clark what's going on shout out so i'm talking about me and i got a lot of men in the house tonight actually hey brian Welcome. Somebody said they finally made a live. Who's that? Gloria. Welcome. Finally made a live. So welcome to the live. I am live. Look, not recorded. <laughs> I'm pinching myself. So let's get right into it though. So I pull these tips from the NNA, but as I go through them, I want to give you my personal spin on them. Okay. And hopefully Angela will join us. So the first one is always let somebody know where you are going and how long you're going to be there. <clears throat> Why is that so good? Because If you're going to any appointment, let somebody know. If you're single, not married, no significant other, just let a friend know. Let a family member know, hey, I have a signing over here, especially in the evenings. Daytime too, but especially in the evenings. Hey, I have a signing over in mid-Atlanta. It says such and such time. Maybe give them the address. Um, A lot of times they have these apps now where you can let people know where you are. So let somebody can pin you. So that's often good, too. So let someone know where you're going. Number two, um, make sure to carry a charged mobile phone at all times in case you need to get someone in case of emergency so they can know where you are. Why is that so important? Because a lot of times if you're like me, we're on our phones all day. I can hardly keep a charge. I'm constantly texting, constantly emailing, constantly talking. So in order to keep a charge on my phone, it's not that I'm purposely letting it go down, but it does go down (laughs) because we're using it so much. But try to keep it charged. Also, you may want to get you one of those little power packs. You can charge that the night before and that'll give you some extended battery life. 
But by any means necessary, always make sure your phone is working. It should never be the case while you're out and about doing notarizations and your phone dies on you. That should not be the case. Okay, safety first. The next one I have is um, some signing agents schedule a check-in during the assignment. And that's kind of what we were talking about earlier too, checking in with someone. But there are actually signing companies that before you start the assignment, you have to click check in and let them know that you have arrived at the appointment. So when that is the case with the signing company, you always want to make sure you hit check in because if you don't, that could alert them that something's wrong. And they might even send the police out there or anything. You write in the middle of a signing and everybody's like, why the police here? So make sure if you do have a check in option with the signing company and they will let you know that as part of your instructions when you receive it. It will say, um, please check in. If you do not check in again, they might end up calling SWAT team out there. And we do not want that, okay? Welcome to those who are just joining us. We are live. We are talking about notary safety. We're actually on tip number four. So if you did miss some, feel free to go back and watch the replay. Here's Angela. I'm going to let her in. Hello. Hi, Angela. Sorry I'm late. That's okay. Welcome. Welcome. So we are on tip number four, actually. Um, I explained already that we are talking about notary safety this evening. You can go ahead and introduce yourself if you like. I'm Angela from AJ Mobile Notary and Gwadette Apostilles. And I'm late because I was on a business meeting. Okay. Okay. Very good. So that must have been a good meeting. It was really good. I have to tell you about it. Yes. I'm excited for you. So we'll talk about that later, guys. So um, number four is never let a stranger know the details of your schedule. For example, and I'm chatty catty out there. Don't get out there and tell your, your last signing appointment. Yeah, after this, I'm going straight home. You know, you, if they're a crook, they might follow you home or anything, you know? So that's one of the tips. Don't be so chatty catty telling everybody about your whole day, especially your clients. Okay, I think that's a really good tip too. Angela, are you prepared to do number five or would you like me to keep going? <clears throat> I can do number five. Thank you. And so this is very important to prioritize your safety. And what that means that if you feel like you're in danger during your signing or don't hang around, you know, pack your stuff up and leave immediately and contact someone. You can email if, you, if you're doing it for a signing company, definitely email the signing company and let them know the situation. When I go on a um, a signing or a notary, I always let, as Kim's went over this probably, I always let somebody know where I am. So I would also email them and tell them the situation, but don't put yourself in danger trying to complete a notary or collect documents. Leave, I would leave the documents and everything there if it's from a signing company. I would not be trying to, you know, uh, talk to the person and I would leave. And that's for your safety because you never know uh, what situation that you're putting yourself in. You don't know. It may be the person may have had a bad day at work, a fight mm -hmm. with their spouse or kid, and they're just bringing it all out on you and you didn't need to be doing anything. So whatever the situation may be, make sure your safety is a priority. Yeah. If you don't feel safe for any reason, um, for example, um, boss up with Leah, I think she's changed the name of her channel <laughs> again, but Leah is a notary here in Georgia. She did a video um, last year. It might have been a year and a half ago or so. And a signer asked her to go into their basement. And she was like, why do you want me to go into the basement? It was kind of weird. So I don't have the video link. If I can find it, I'll throw it in the description box. But that's Boss Up with Leah's channel. And um, again, it was about a year and a half ago. The client made her super nervous. Mm -hmm. So like Angela said, it can go bad really quick. If they're irate, mm -hmm. if you're on a um, signing and then there's a man, woman, whatever, they're flirting with you and it takes a turn for the, you know, you kind of let them know, hey, I'm not here for that. And it goes bad. You might have to, like Angela said, get up and leave everything. So mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter what the situation is. Irate, flirting. If you just feel uncomfortable for any reason, mm -hmm. that completes the signing. It's over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So let's move on to the next one. Number six is. If you have concerns about traveling to the signer's home or neighborhood, meet up in a neutral, well-lit public location with people around, such as a coffee shop. So, <clears throat> you know, we always suggest that you can go to Panera, you can go to McDonald's, 
if for any reason you don't feel comfortable. Now, that's a little bit different when it comes to assigning companies because mm -hmm. they usually will set the address with the client that's already mm -hmm. preset. Mm -hmm. However, most clients, for example, if you're going into a horror situation or they have a lot of animals or something, they will usually tell you, hey, can we meet somewhere else? Yeah. And if you do change the signing location, make sure that you let the signing company know we are not just changing the location because what if the client is a crook and you're supposed to meet at his home and he says, hey, can you meet me over here? Mm -hmm. And now the signing companies think that you're at the home address and you actually change the location. Mm -hmm. So whenever anything changes, somebody needs to know. Mm -hmm. So this this conversation tonight, guys, is kind of serious. So if you notice my tone and my everything, we're very serious about this because safety is important. Nothing has happened. We just it's just a conversation that I was like, what can we talk about this evening? Mm -hmm. And I know I don't think we've actually addressed it here, but I've read articles and I've been in other forums and stuff where they talk about um, client safety. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to add our perspective on that. So, again, if you feel uncomfortable for any reason, you let them know, hey, we can meet over at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. We can meet somewhere public and it's lit up. OK, mm -hmm. number seven, Angela. So this is important, too, especially I've done um, signings in the evening or a client has called me and said, you know, you know, it gets dark early now. You know, can I can you do this long signing? Even if you're meeting somebody at a, a Starbucks at night, you want to make sure that your vehicle is maintenance and it's safe. And so you want to have it maintenance uh, service regularly. Check your spare tires to make sure that they're in good condition. If it's raining, your windshield wipers before, you know, you want to make sure you can see if it's at night. I don't know what area, different areas you live in, but I know in the area I live in, a lot of these streets don't have street lights. And so if it's raining, you want to make sure your windshield wipers are working uh, properly. And if you live where it's severe cold weather, you know how the ice is, the snow is. You make sure you have ice scraper chains on your tires. You know, your windshields are frosted. You want to make sure that they're clean and clear. And so um, especially you guys where you, it's snowing at. It's very important to have snow chains to drive through heavy snow or ice on the road. My husband was from Ohio, and I remember when I visited there, I could never live there. But, you know, in the wintertime, it's very important to make sure that your car, you know, is maintained. You have the correct tools you need to get back and forth. Because if you break down and it's snowing or it's in a dark area, again, we're talking about safety. You want to make sure you're safe. I have AAA. Make, and make sure you have some kind of AAA or a person you can call in case of an emergency so that they can repair your car quickly. So those is very important, especially with the weather being so crazy everywhere. The weather's not uh, constant anywhere right now. So everywhere we go, the weather is bad. So make sure that your car is serviced regularly, good maintenance, tires are, you know, good. We don't want to be uh, riding on ball tires. Mm -hmm. So check your tires. Make sure if you're in cold weather that you have the appropriate equipment you need to make sure that you can get back and forth safely. That's true. I'm going to add one more to this. Um, we're going to call it 7B. Even the way you park your vehicle at the client's home, I always like to park and make sure I can get out. I don't care if I'm at Walmart or wherever. I don't like to be blocked in. When I was little, um, we were at, I think we were at White Castles. I'll never forget. And it, my mom, it was my mom and my siblings and I, and we had, we backed, just regular parked the car and somebody came up behind us. We were trying to get out. I don't know if they were up to no good or whatever, but I don't remember that part because I don't remember nothing actually happening, but I remember that feeling. And I don't like to be blocked in. Even when I go to a restaurant, I don't like to say with my back where I can't see what's going on at the front door. A lot of people have that. <laughs> but um, when you're at a signing though, you want to make sure you park where you can get out fast if you need to. Have your purse in hand. I'm just adding a couple more tips here. Have your purse and everything on your hand, on your purse and as close as you can. You shouldn't be so spread out where you got to try to grab over here, grab over there. You know, we just want to be safe. And again, this is not to scare anybody. There's nothing happened again out there in, in these notary streets that we know of. But we just are talking safety from our perspective, from things that we've seen while we've been out there working. Okay. So again, when it comes to parking, you want to make sure you ask the client, is it okay? Um, you know, where would they like you to park when you first arrive? That's part, sometimes part of my screening. And they'll usually let you know if the parking is crazy. Oh, I got a heel or, oh, you got to come around the back or either you got to, you know, they'll usually let you know if it's something kind of off. But I always try to park where 
I can get out of a situation. So we'll move on to number eight. Um, carry emergency supplies in your vehicle as a safety precaution. Like what? First aid kit, flashlight, jumper cables, battery. In case I mean, um, yeah, jumper cables in case your battery dies. A blanket, an extra jacket. I always have more than one jacket in my car. <laughs> Sometimes we joke we live out the car, but we really do. Yeah. A couple extra bottles of water and also some snacks just in case anything can happen. And so a lot of times we see things from our viewpoint, our vantage point. And here I'm in Georgia, right? So most of the time we have pretty nice weather. Most of the time we get those rainy days or, you know, occasionally the ice or something like that. But I was having a um, call with a notary over in Montana in the height of the snow, like a couple months ago. And I was like, I didn't think about it, right? Because I'm sitting here in sunshine. <laughs> I really didn't think about <clears throat> what he was going through. So he sent me some pictures of the deer and the snow was 10 feet high, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, man, notaries in those areas, it's a little bit different for them, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, we just want to make sure we're cautious no matter what area or what part of the state you are in. Number nine, Angela. So number nine, I kind of jumped a little bit ahead, but invest in a good GPS system or smartphone app so you won't get lost. If you're traveling unfamiliar location and, and a good GPS is very important too, because sometimes a GPS can take you off course and you end up going the long, extra long route or out of the way. Um, it's very important too, that you make sure your phone is charged. If you're using your phone as a GPS, because if it's not charged and you're out somewhere and trying to use the GPS, if you don't have one in your car or another system, then you're going to be messed up. And so um, I mentioned roadside assistance earlier in the event that your vehicle breaks down or you have a flat tire or you have any kind of mechanical problems. Uh, AAA is, is amazing for that. And that brings me back to it's been a couple of months ago. I Kim may remember this. I called her because I had a notary assignment and it was probably about 35 minutes away. And it was like in a rural area. And the man wanted me to like drive behind his car. And I did never again because. By the time I got halfway home, my tire was like, I heard this weird sound. I had a flat tire. Mm -hmm. And I know I must have picked up something from his yard. And so I pulled in the medium. It was a flat tire. So I got back in my car and pulled on the side of the road. And I called AAA. And that particular day was a good day for me because AAA was there in like 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. They changed the tire, put, put the, got the spare out the back, changed the tire, put the other one in the back. And I was good. I didn't have to call anybody or figure out what I'm going to do. You know, I have AAA and I have the high end AAA because I want to make sure that I have enough. Uh, what do you call it? Services, the, mm -hmm. the, the right amount of service. So I don't have to um, worry about, oh, I've used AAA twice this all this year and I can't use it again. Or so tr AAA has like stages. What do you call it? Stages, mm -hmm. certain, like, the, the low, the mid middle and the premium. Package each individual to decide which service that they're going to get. But for me, it had proved to be very valuable. I've only had it one time when my car broke down with a flat tire doing a notary job. But having your phones charged, a good GPS, and AAA, you know, is always going to be good. And I learned that the hard way with AAA. We had a um, smaller package. And we were stuck somewhere and they were like, uh, yeah, that only goes up to 100 miles. And I said, oh, well, I'm 800 miles away. <laughs> so uh, what are we going to do about that? Like my sister say, player. <laughs> so anyway, I had to upgrade my package. <laughs> and one more tip about what Angela was saying with number nine with GPS. You want to have more than one GPS downloaded, one more than one GPS app. So mm -hmm. I often use Google is my favorite, but then I also use this as being suggested in the chat ways because you need more than one, um, one difference, more than one way of getting there. Cause mm -hmm. you know, anything can happen. Mm -hmm. um, Google might be saying, go this way. And it's taking like forever, ever. And I mm -hmm. do ways and it takes me a completely different way. So have more than one app downloaded. Mm -hmm. The last one guys is don't embark on a long trip with your gas tank nearly empty. How yeah. many of you are guilty of that? Running yeah. out of gas or yeah. running low and be like, oh, I hope I can make it. I hope I can make it. The, the car says I got 20 more miles and you know you got 30 yeah. more to go. 
<laughs> so you want to make sure you have a full tank of gas at mm -hmm. all times, just in these day and times anyway. Anything yeah. can happen. So always have a full tank of gas. My mom was really big on that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, as I get older, I realize a lot of stuff she said. I'm like, yeah, she right. But then I was right. like, you got to have a tank. What's the big deal? Right. But no, have a whole tank of gas, a complete full, um, full tank of gas. Mm -hmm. And it says always make sure you have enough fuel at least to get to your assignment and return. So if you mm -hmm. are running low, you want to make sure you have enough to at least get to the assignment and get back home safely. Yep. And you really want to always have more than that because you don't want to be running, as we say, on fumes out there, right? Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you yeah. have enough. And I did have another tip on gas, just that quick. Oh, get it in the daylight. <clears throat> that was my other tip. Stop during the daylight and get your gas. Do not be out there at night, pitch black, trying to get gas at gas stations, ladies. And gentlemen, it's just dangerous nowadays. So go ahead and get it earlier in the day. Let that be the first thing you do. Get in the car. Make sure your phone is charged. Make sure you know where you're going. Let your other contact know where you're going. Also, make sure you have enough gas in the vehicle, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's all we got for you. Unless Angela wanted to add to, to that, we'll take a few of your questions, and we're going to go through the chat. <clears throat> just, that, Angela, just, that, um, just that when I see my tank on half full, because I do go to, you know, some rural areas of long streets without gas stations or gas pumps, when my tank gets to half full, when I'm on my way back from that notary job, I'll stop by Sam's and fill up my a tank with gas because I don't want to be caught, you know, somewhere and it's like, okay, panicking because am I going to have enough gas? Right. So, Angela, if you'll do the YouTube chat, I'll do Facebook. And again, for those of you who are just joining us, our conversation tonight was about notary safety. And it's actually a very good conversation. I highly recommend you go back and look at it if you're just now joining us. I do have a couple of announcements and then we're going to take your questions. Um, really quick, don't forget to sign up for our free email. Uh, we just start, we're coming out with email listing or posting or whatever you call it, email list. So sign up for that over at Notary Educators LLC. And why do you want to sign up? You may say, why do I need another email, Kimmy? Well, one, because we're going to be posting all of our special events. We'll be sending that to you right in your inbox. A lot of times people are not aware of what's going on until after the fact. And you're missing events that we're having. You're missing our lives. You're missing gems and everything so the email will send it right to your inbox and that way you'll have it we'll be sending out notary tips special sales and again special events which we have coming up february 5th that's my next announcement completely free it's a notary meetup angela can you mute for a minute till we come back to you yep thanks all right because i hear a little feedback and that was a suggestion from one of our um subscribers actually and uh students <clears throat> Excuse me. So the next one is our free notary meetup, which is February the 5th. That's going to be 6 p.m. Eastern, completely free. So sign up at notary educators, LLC.com. And then the next thing is, if you don't know, and I know you can't see this if you're not watching, but I have all of my books I released in all different states. Start your notary business. So you can see them here. We got the yellow for who what state is that? We got green from Michigan. What is this? Virginia is orangey peach. What's that? Uh, Arizona is yellow. Every book has a different um, color. Every state, every book has a different color. Texas is red. So I went ahead and ordered a few of them so you can see it. We got New York. We got every state. All 50 plus D.C. are represented. <laughs> so you can start your notary business. And that's also if you already have a business and it's not growing I know that book is going to help so many people and it already has. I'm so excited to release it per state. So it's state specific in what you need to start. And the last thing we have is all of our online self-paced courses are on sale. 50% off use coupon code level up at checkout. Okay. Coupon code level up 2023, 50% at checkout. Okay. And then I think Angela had one announcement about apostilles and then we're going to get your questions. Oh, you're still on mute, and I'm going to mute now. So, yes, our next apostille training, we had somebody in the Facebook group uh, asking about that. It's on Friday the 3rd at 6 p.m., and um, we teach you how to uh, do apostilles in all states and also on the federal level. And also, we have a new subscription to Apostille Education Station, 
which every month we meet and we talk about, we discuss your questions that you had during some problems may, you may have encountered with apostille. I usually have people call me and also we will discuss documents and how to prepare documents properly, certain documents properly, and uh, make sure that they're not rejected through the uh, different authorities. And you can sign up at both of those at notaryeducatorsllc.com under the apostille tab. And if you do the chat, Angela, I'll do Facebook. Okay. So a lot of people are just saying hi, hello. And we have Julie Shomick, who says she's doing her first solo notarization in one hour. And thanks to you, I'm confident. Congratulations, Julie. So everybody's saying hi. Hi, hi, hi. There's a Facebook user. Okay, so Lorena says, do you always have to go to a house or can you arrange a public place to meet? So Lorena, that's a two-part question and Kim, you can uh, hone in on it. If this is a general notary and someone's calling you from Google, you can always arrange where you're going to meet. Like we always say, you know, always know the locations close by with you and your signers in your area, Starbucks, uh, Panera, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, and some of the grocery stores have little cafes where you can sit in. So you can always make arrangements to uh, meet someone in a public place, Barnes and Nobles. Now, if it's for a signing company, usually they have an address where they tell you what to, where to meet the person. And so if that's going to change, you have to notify the signing company. And usually they don't like you to really change unless the person wants to change. So if any kind of change happens with the signing company, you definitely have to notify the signing company before uh, any of that takes place. I think you covered it. We'll just say hey to Regina over on Facebook. Yep. Nothing to add. So Daryl said, I have a fear of my car being towed. <laughs> Daryl is in Hawaii. <laughs> Why do you have a fear of your car being towed? What's going on over there? Parking situations? Theodore says, hello, I'm trying to register on Notary Cafe and it is stating I need insurance. I'm not sure what that means. Can you help me with getting some information on that? Kim, you know anything about Notary Cafe? Yes. Hey, Theodore, welcome. So with Notary Cafe, um, I don't necessarily um, recommend that you have to sign up for the, um, I think it's $5 per month. They say like buying a cup of coffee. I've never received any work from there, but I do use Notary Cafe to see what other notaries think about assignments. Um, for example, Angela may have taken an assignment and she didn't like it for whatever reason. Maybe she goes out there, which she would not. But most notaries are very vocal, so they'll go out there and type whatever they liked or didn't like about a company. So I'll go out there and read to make sure either, the, you know, whatever they liked or didn't like, would I want to would I want to work with that person? Or also um, if a company is legit, if they're slow paying. So I use it more as a reference. I don't actually receive work from there. Now, I did go on a little tangent. The actual insurance they're referring to is probably errors and omission insurance. <laughs> but I'm always just trying to save you money, too. Errors and omission insurance, and that covers you as a notary in case you make a mistake while you're stamping a document. So Minister Roberts said, the Waze app has been a blessing to me. I love Waze. Waze always seems to take me like the shortest direction it avoids traffic jams, so I love ways to. Uh, Theodore is a new notary in Alaska, and the information is awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Theodore, get the book for Alaska. I have a book written for Alaska, too. How to Start Your Notary Business in Alaska. It covers everything yep. you need to know, A to Z. Yep, yep, yep. Amazing. Linda likes Google Maps. So, Theodore, so how do you promote your business? So, personally... Oh. Tell them what number one is, Kim. Well, no, you go ahead, Angela. I was going to say it's all covered in the book, but <laughs> well, you go ahead. It's all covered in the book, but the number one source of 90% of my general notary work comes from Google. Mm -hmm. Everyone that, you know, says either Google or somebody I've already used referred uh, you to me. That's just all of my business comes from Google. It's true. Me too. 95% um, of my mm -hmm. business comes from Google. I... I am signed up with a few signing companies. 
Um, I do have some direct work. I get general notary work all day long. I do everything. You guys know yeah. this. Uh, I do everything. Mm -hmm. So when, because somebody asked me that just recently, what percentage is this? I can't even tell you unless I really go pull the numbers. Right. Um, but I do whatever. If the phone rings, I'm going to do it. That's all I can say. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. There's a Facebook user that says, All right, works. Facebook, I'm coming over. Let's see what's going on on Facebook. We got, let's see, we have, hey, Mari, Kimmy says, Thanks for helping me yesterday with first ink print, first ink fingerprinting job. My pleasure. Mari bought the course, but she did have a little extra question there. Who did? Um, Mari? Mari? Yeah. Oh, Mari's yeah. in Florida. Yeah, she had her first ink fingerprinting yesterday. She's also taking Angela's apostille course and a little bit of everything with us, actually. Let me, let me say something about that. So sure. Mari, Mari got the ink fingerprinting course. She took the apostille course. And it's like as soon as she did that, she started getting business for both of those services. And so Mari had to call me for apostille, but it was something very simple. She already knew it. She just wanted to make sure that what she was basically thinking was correct. And so it works if you take the apostille ink fingerprinting courses and somebody calls you, then you're ready to do the business. I told Mara, I said, look, you've made your money back already that you paid for the for the apostille course already. And so training is very important because if you don't have any training and somebody call, then you won't have the confidence that you know how to do it. It's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. And then Darius says, is there a list of signing companies in Texas? So, Doris, for a list of signing companies, you can go to 123 Notary. Mm -hmm. They do have a list. You don't have to pay for anything. Just click their resources. That's one way. Um, I would also recommend signing over signingorder.com mm -hmm. and also SnapDocs mm -hmm. is the number one way, the number of the top three ways I receive business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, what else we got on Facebook? Um, and then Mari's just saying hello. So Gloria says, I won't be able to make the apostille training on the third. Do you have the next date? So the next date will be the end of February. I don't have it yet, but check out our website, notaryeducatorsllc.com in the middle of the month, or I'll put it in Facebook. So look out for it in Facebook or check our website. Okay. David said, which is better for loan signing training, NNA or LSS? I'm going to let Kim answer that. <laughs> so, Brian, let's talk about notary loan signing agent right quick. So many people are familiar with loan signing system and it is a I have not taken the course, but I know a lot of people that have taken it. Um, I personally took the NNA loan signing agent training, a little mm -hmm. shorter version, a much shorter. Um, you just have to do your due diligence. We actually have a notary signing agent course that we teach and everything we do over here. We keep it simple real life you can start doing it tomorrow um so that's my two cent of course i think our course is is great um nna is the standard you have to go through the nna brian if you want to work with certain signing companies and have their background check and pass their 45 question notary signing agent test so you have to do that if you really want to be successful in the industry and then after you do that that's the smallest package with them after you do the smallest package with them, then you could double back and do your actual training with us. So that's what I really would recommend. Do the smallest package with the NNA, then you can double back with us. And you can feel free to check out all of your um, training options, okay? Um, last thing I'll say, Brian, too, sounds like you're kind of new to the industry. Whatever state you're in, I'd highly recommend you buy the book for your state that I wrote. And it will help you to give, get an overall view of the whole notary industry before you start spending money, okay? That's what I really recommend. And the books can be found, guys, at Notary Educators, LLC.com, sorry. <laughs> so uh, Daryl said, if your car is towed in Hawaii, it costs $300, yike. Ooh. And I thought 75 or 100 was bad. Yeah, Daryl. You gotta be careful, Daryl. You gotta be very careful. You better know where to park, Daryl. <laughs> So uh, Sister Tamika X says, I am new to this coming from healthcare background. Everything is foreign. I've started the process of educating myself and tuning to Kimmy's page. Thank you. Currently working on virtual address. Well, welcome, okay. welcome, welcome. Yeah, welcome. It's our pleasure. And I would definitely start um, Sister Tamika X looking at the um, by the notary 
start your notary business for whatever state you're in. Uh, again, there for all 50, and that's going to give you an overview of the the whole industry, mm -hmm. not just um, any one particular part. I want you to get a whole mm -hmm. feel for what you're getting into. And by purchasing uh, the book for your state, it will really save you a lot of time. You can go yeah. to YouTube University. There's a lot of information, but it's like everything you really need to know is compiled into one book for your state. Yeah, that's true, Angela. Thank you for saying that. Because that is true. Because you can take a lot of time, but I give you everything you need to start. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and that was her suggestion uh, to, to purchase the book to get started. Mm -hmm. And Theodore said he'll start looking into that reference. Mm -hmm. Somebody on Facebook said Apostle Trump. Oh, that must be Mari. I'm about to look at it right quick. That is... Yep, Mari says that apostille training is highly recommended. So I've taken Angela's class a couple of times <laughs> and you will probably see me in a few more. Um, I just wasn't ready the first couple of times that I took it. Um, but I will be in the class and I'm learning for 2023. Y'all gonna hear me talk about apostilles all the time because that's my that's my new thing. It's getting out of pastel money because it's out there. And I was just watching something, a little quick thing on IG today. And it says now is the time they're going to start picking up with spring, I guess, travel. Mm -hmm. You know, people trying to get them travel documents. They got these homes in other countries. And so it's about to pick up. It really is. So you heard it here first. Our pastels will be picking up. And Angela did a post. What was your, do you remember, Angela, the, the number of our pastels you said are being requested every year? Some billion or something. I'm sorry, sorry you guys. I'm getting a message. Okay, I had to answer that. So yeah, so and uh, regarding apostille too, uh, like Kim mentioned, certain times of the day is extra busy. Like with kids during the summer, parents are preparing their kids. Actually, right now, parents are getting their kids ready to visit. I've had a couple where uh, parents came and wanted to uh, have a apostille. Uh, basically a, a letter affidavit that their kids could travel without them. And I've had one lady like in South Georgia has called me twice, you know, in six months to do a postille for her kid to go to Honduras. So when school is out, parents want to have those documents ready. And so therefore they're preparing their kids to be going to their country to visit family, you know, or whomever. So uh, it, apostilles are so busy that the time for them to be processed on the federal level has went from 10 weeks to like 16 weeks. So it used to be like eight week, eight to 10 weeks is 16 to 20 weeks that is taking the process because so many are being processed. Mm -hmm. Theodore said he will purchase your book. Oh, thank you. Linda said, thanks Kim. That was very helpful about the NNA. Mm -hmm. Gloria, you're so welcome for the assistance. Joanne says, I use Notary Cafe. The insurance is errors and omissions insurance. Okay. Mm -hmm. And everyone should have that if you're going to be stamping documents anyway. I do have a video about errors and omission, and I would not drive a car without car insurance. I would not stamp a document without errors and omission insurance. Mm-hmm. So Joanne says she just signed up for Ron in New York. Can you do a class? We don't do Ron in Georgia, but Kim always has some recommendations for, you know, where you can go to get that. Yeah, I don't do Ron. None of us do. We're in Georgia. It's not legal here. Um, Joanne, I do recommend Side Hustle Seattle. She has a whole channel about Ron, and I really recommend you check it out. Um, she actually just released a little course. I can't say anything good or bad about it. I haven't taken it, but I do trust her in the industry. She's spoken at the um, 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 NNA conference. So I believe she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> so I would definitely check out Side Hustle Seattle. Okay. She's the mm -hmm. Ron queen out there. Um, and for those of you who have not joined our Facebook group, it's completely free. So you want to sign up for the email listing and then also join our free Facebook group. Everything that we have free, I would highly take advantage of it because we're always teaching and training, mentoring um, via all of our dif different platforms, okay? 
we're going to get ready to start wrapping this up too. Um, what else do we have, Angela? So someone said, yep, it's pricey. Yep. Um, green, greeny tatic. It says, is the apostille training on notary educators website? Yes. So click on the apostille tab and then just go to the, um, click on it and you'll be able to sign up that way. Uh, and Joanne, we train for, uh, when you finish the training for apostille, you will know how to train in every state. And so also you would have a mock training for your state uh, during the class. So yes, we tra train you how to uh, do apostilles in every state. Mm -hmm. Evangelist 39 said they purchased a book for Florida yesterday. Okay, thank you. We appreciate it. So make sure you get all the other support that we provide too. Again, mm -hmm. the free Facebook group yep. and our free email list that we're gonna start sending out emails. Um, the emails will contain tips about apostilles, tips about regular notary work, tips about Google My Business. Our emails, you do want to open them. It's not going to be just junk. Right. <laughs> we're just trying to sell you something. The way we provide right. information over here. But another reason we're going to the email list and system, guys, is that uh, I think I might have said this. I don't remember. I know I said it the other day. Is that like YouTube, Facebook, IG, none of those mediums, they, they don't share every time we go live. Or every time we put something out, we, they told us to put at everyone. Well, still, if I put a post out, we have over 3,000 members. Only 20 might see it. So that means a whole 2,800 people plus didn't get the information, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're going to the email system. So when we send out an email, you will want to open it because it will always be packed full of value. So I'm going to let Angela say a little something in reference to a good night. And I'm going to come back and then we're going to wrap it up. Well, how, there's a Facebook user that says, how do you get in the group? Oh, sure. Um, for Facebook, for the Facebook group, it's um, Notary Educators. They're already, in Facebook. they're already in the Facebook group. If they're on get Facebook. in what group, Angela? I don't know. It just said, how do you get in the group? Uh, for the email listing, you sign up at notaryeducatorsllc.com. For Facebook, you would you already there so probably you might be referring to the email the list. Email, email list so go to notary educators um yeah go oh the email list yeah go to notary educators llc.com and it's now on the front page for you to sign up for the email list okay mm -hmm. And we are so excited about that email list. Yeah. I can't tell you guys. I'm I'm over here stressed and I'm going to have some real talk with y'all really quick <laughs> because I've been trying to get that email list. My target was January 1 and I keep trying to see what's the best way. Whenever you're in business and you will see this in your notary business too, it's like, well, do I do this? Do I do that? It's so many choices. I don't mm -hmm. know what to do. So I didn't know, do I do constant contact? Do I do chat mail? What do we do to make it? affordable for us because you know we don't like to charge you know put too much price on, um add burden for ourselves or add that cost to you so what's the best way to do it so i think we finally figured it out because it doesn't have to be super elegant or you know out there it's just need to get the information to you so hopefully by the end of the week um we can send out our first email so look for it again we are so excited hey asarta um, hey, Joanne Joanne. what is Joanne Brown saying? I have a notary business, absolute notary public LLC. That's cute, absolute notary. So that's it for me. Um, I'm gonna say good night. I'll let Angela say good night and then we'll just wrap it up. Good night, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us at the last minute. We are gonna be doing these quite often, you know, popping in, giving you some notice that we're gonna be doing uh some uh live so. Thanks for coming. We always look forward to talking to you about different subjects and helping you grow your notary business. So this is Angela from AJ um, Mobile Notary. All right, guys. Good night. I'm Kimmy, Notary Life with Kimmy, and we will see you all soon, okay? Bye. Bye. Thank you again for listening to the Notary Life with Kimmy podcast. We would love to be a part of your notary journey. Please visit us at notaryeducatorsllc.com for all of your notary training needs. Also, please feel free to join the Notary Life with Kimmy YouTube channel, where Kimmy has over 400 videos that will help you to grow and build a successful notary business. Until the next episode, we wish you much success on your journey. Bye.